Hey there, thanks for watching. My name is Christiana and this channel is The Well-Behaved Wallet where my goal is to love the life I have while building a life of my dreams. And I'm so excited to talk to you today about my favorite scents of the holidays and Christmas. So I have always really noticed and appreciated scents like from the time I was little and I've, I've since discovered that Scent is one of the most primal senses that we have. The olfactory nerve goes straight to the brain. It doesn't go through the central nervous system. It's um, sort of directly linked to your um, to, to your like cortical fr frontal cortex. Um, it's something to do with how very very important scent memories are and how deeply ingrained in your subconscious they are. So I've remembered scents. Um, sense <laughs> from the time I was very young um, so they really have a special place in my heart um, and in my consciousness. One of my favorite Christmas scents and probably the scent that says the most obviously that it's Christmas time it's the holidays is balsam fir or pine any type of pine crisp clean tree scent so I picked up this candle from Aldi and it is a winter blossom it's a really good deal it was like $3.49 for a three wick um, soy blend scented candle and it's a really clear, crisp, pine fresh scent. Now the thing with pine is if it's done badly, it smells like um, like a, a, a rest stop bathroom. <laughs> that's, that's not the scent you want. You want like a, a really sort of multi-layered, um, crisp, fresh scent. Something without that artificial like twinge to it. Something that's very like organic. It smells very woodsy um, and not as artificial and they really did a good job with this candle I think um, so I highly recommend that um, and that's sort of the number one scent I'll look for when I, I sort of start out the holidays is that scent. This, uh, this tree, I'm not sure what kind of a pine tree it is, but it is very, um, it does smell a little bit, not very much. I know there are tons of different kinds of pine trees out there, but that is one of my favorite memories as well. Um, I don't think we had for uh, real Christmas trees growing up, we might have gotten those little teeny tiny planted, uh, like potted ones, and then we try to plant them in the spring, sort of water them throughout the winter and then plant them in the spring and that's um, that's something we did when I was more of a teenager um, and I like that memory and I love sort of breaking out the pine trees and the pine scents as a way to usher in the Christmas season. Another scent that always says holidays to me is cinnamon. Cinnamon is kind of a year-round one as well but it's um, something that I especially associate with the holidays. I love the cinnamon sticks um, as well as just sort of cinnamon from the spice cabinet. It's a good one. Another really great holiday centered one is oranges and cloves. I've seen this done but I've never actually done it myself um, until recently was taken a fresh orange and whole cloves and put individual cloves to cover the whole orange and made like a scent ball out of that and the smell is just amazing. It gets a little bit you get like the zest from the orange on your fingertips but it's so fresh with the orange and then sort of the warmth of the clove spice as well on the topic of warm scents i love the scent of gingerbread be it baking like actual bread or gingerbread cookies anything baking or coming out of the oven is a good scent as far as i'm concerned but gingerbread in my mind is reserved only for the holidays as well, um, in my on my mom's side of the family, we make a Swedish spice cookie called a pepperkakar cookie, and they are a very thin, very dark, crisp um, ginger Swedish gingerbread cookie. But they're they're just they're meant to be um, very dark and very spiced. So it's a molasses, um, and I think there's cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon. Um, uh, and other spices sort of mixed together and then you let the dough sit and then you roll it out really, really, really thin. And that's a part that can be a little bit challenging is making it super, super thin. Um, and every year it's like a, a quest to get the thinnest, most crispy cookie that you possibly can. And they bake really quickly, so you have to watch them. But they're so delicious. And if you make them right, they're like, they're, they're crispy and they just fall apart in your mouth. And that scent for sure is the holidays to me. 
Another great holiday scent is apple cider, and I love doing that for sort of an evening cozy night in and mulling some apple cider. And that just is just apple cider warmed up with spices in it. So I'll put like a big pot of that on the stove. Um, and then I'll usually I have a recipe that I mix with um, white grape juice and orange juice. So apple cider, white grape juice and orange juice, and then whatever spices I feel like throwing in, nutmeg, rosemary, cloves, um, actual nutmeg, like sometimes I'll put anise in there, um, star anise, um, peppercorns sometimes, and you'll put them in like a cheesecloth, maybe like lightly crush them to release some of the aroma, and then put that cheesecloth in the actual um, pot with the juices in it, and then just let that sit and simmer and cook, and the aroma is delicious. Just have it how it comes off the stove. That's been a Christmas morning tradition for us every... Um, every now and then. I won't make it every year, but sometimes I'll get a craving for it. Um, and I have sort of a fond memory of going on a hike with my mom and being all like coming off of that hike and being all like chilly um, in the car and just wanting um, mulled apple cider um, and hot ap apple cider. And then of course it's Christmas, so nothing's open. So the, the only place we could find was in like a Jewish neighborhood of course. And we picked up like some apple cider, the orange juice and things to make the, the cider and we put it on the stove and then we totally fell asleep. So didn't even get to have it hot, but then we warmed it up and it was fine. But that's sort of what I associate with apple cider is something to warm you up after you've been doing some like physical activity outdoors and you're chilly, but sort of feeling brisk on the outside and want something warm and spicy to warm you up on the inside. Another scent of the season that I like is firewood and any type of warm log burning type um, scent that's just very warm and comforting, especially around the holidays. I've never had a fireplace, but my best friend's father is a chimney contractor and they have like a little... Um, uh, wood stove in their house and right around the holidays they would light it up and I remember going over to her house and just that was like such a treat to smell the wood burning um, especially with the cold air around having that scent of the firewood is such a wonderful contrast and it's a very sort of um, appealing and inviting um, scent of um, sort of that that wood resin um, breaking down and, and transforming as well. This next one is a classic. Who doesn't love the scent of baking sugar cookies in the oven? For me, sugar cookies are very different from spice cookies because a spice cookie is very um, warm, even with, with cool spices in it. It's like a warm scent, whereas a sugar cookie is a much more um, clean and I almost want to say like a, a flatter scent to it, but I love the difference and contrast between the two. It's it's really that sort of vanilla-y smell as opposed to the spice, cinnamon, crisp, tangy smell. But I mean, either one is fantastic, but they're very, very different. So like a baking sugar cookie is going to have a lot more sugar and sort of crystallized, again, vanilla elements in them that coming out. Um, and something about that is very... Uh, comforting and almost like uh, re reassuring as well. It reminds me, I don't know if it reminds you of your childhood um, and baking things, especially around the holidays. It's a very delicious and uh, mouth-watering aroma. Anything vanilla-based is holidays and delicious to me. This final one is a little bit unconventional, and that is rose water and vanilla. So different from just a baking vanilla, rose water and vanilla is a much more um, sort of confectionery scent. So I'm taking this from a Jo Malone fragrance. If you don't know what Jo Malone is, it's a, a perfume house now owned by Estee Lauder. But they used to have a, a couple of years ago, they did a version of the perfume, of their perfume, called rose water and vanilla. Since discontinued, um, it was meant to mimic the smell of Turkish delight. I don't know if you've seen the movie Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe or read the book, um, but that was something that um, one of the kids had a, a special fondness for. It was his weakness, uh, his undoing in the end. But that scent is very, very distinctive. It's light. It's um, So Turkish delight is a candy that's made with sugar and rose water. And it's 
it's like like a gelatin that kind of consistency and then it's cut up into squares and then dusted with powdered sugar. I never had a taste for it until recently, actually until smelling that perfume. And I was like, this is amazing. And <laughs> to get a little bit uh, interesting, it almost smells like a child's toy, like a girl's toy doll or, stu or animal, uh, like stuffed animal. It's got that, a little bit of that plastic scent, but a very sweet, uh, again, rose water and vanilla scent to it, very powdery. And that perfume was just the right amount of um, sophistication with the rose, but also the sweetness with the vanilla. And I love the combination of the two. And ever since I smelled that perfume, I was like, oh, let me check out the candy. Um, and uh, the candy I, I discovered I also had a taste for, which was probably not the best because you try to watch, I try to watch my sugar consumption, but the perfume is even better in my opinion than the actual candy. So that has since become one of my favorite Christmas scents is vanilla and rose water. So thank you so much for listening to this description of my favorite scents of Christmas. Um, let me know in the comments what your favorite scents of Christmas and the holidays are, things that remind you of, um, Christmas or again the holidays and make you excited for the season and really help you capture and celebrate um, in the best possible way. Thank you as always for watching and I hope that you'll keep watching. Bye.